multiplying mixed numbers. Let's multiply these mixed numbers and write our answer as a proper fraction or a whole mixed number, as the directions say. So the steps here are that we have to convert to improper fractions, multiply, and then simplify. So there are a lot of steps. So this is going to be 7 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 6 times 5 plus 3 over 5. So it's going to be 15 halves times 33 fifths. And luckily for us, there's going to be some simplification here. Just checking, because there are a lot of places we can go wrong. So this is going to be 99, right? There's 3 and a 1. So it's going to be 99 halves. And so now we have to convert back, because we have an improper fraction. So we divide. And we get... 49 and one remainder, right? So it should be 49 and a half. That's our final answer. It's a lot of work, but 49 space one forward slash two. Okay, let's go through that process again. I'll, st I'll try to go a little bit faster here. So 28 plus one is 29 over seven. 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. Again, that's lucky for us. Because these cancel out. So we end up with 29 over 2. Or 14 and 1 half. Okay, so 31 sixths times 19 sixths. This makes us sad because these aren't nice numbers. So we, we're going to have to do, just in the interest of time, let's do 31 times 19 over here so we don't have to write it out. So we get 589. divided by 36, and we won't be lazy. We'll do 589 divided by 36. So you can tell 19, three or two don't go into 19, and three or two don't go into 31. So there's no simplifying here. So 589 divided by 36 gives us one, 36, gives us two, two, nine. I believe that'll fit in six times. So six times six is 36. Six times three is 18. So we'll have two 16, we'll have 13 left over. So we'll have 16 and 13 over 36. Sixteen and 13 over 36. All right, how about five and a half? So that's gonna be 11 halves, five times two plus one is 11, times 41 fourths, Ten times four plus one is 41. There's no simplifying this, so we'll do 11 times 41. That's gonna be 451. I did 10 times 41 is 410, plus another 41, which is 451, divided by 8. We'll do 451 divided by 8. Uh, okay, that'll, I should give myself more room next time. But 5, 40, 51, 6, 48. So 56, there's 3 left over here. 56 and 3 eighths.
Okay, 5 and a 7th times 8 and a half. So we have 36 over 7. Did we do this one already? I don't know. Times 17 over 2. No, we didn't. And so we can simplify this as 18 and 1. So we get 18 times 17 over 7. Now I can very quickly know that we can't simplify this. Maybe it's useful to tell you. 17 is a prime number, I can't break it up. 18 is 3, 3, 2. So none of those primes interact with 7. So there's no breaking this down. Like you, That's it, right? So we're going to just do 18 times 17 here. Again, interest of time. Nothing we couldn't do if we had more time. 306. So this is 306 over 7. 28. We end up with 26. So we end up with 43 and five sevenths. 43 and five sevenths. Okay, six and a half. So that's 13 halves times 32 over 3. Okay, that'll break down into 16. So we get 16 times 13 divided by 3. Okay, I can do 16 times 13. It's 160 plus 48. So it's 208 divided by 3. Let's just check, though. I don't want to get things wrong. 16 times 13, 208. So now we get 6. We get 18, 2, 8. We get 9. So we get 69 and a third. Check our work. 28 divided by 3, 18, 28, 27, 1. Yes, so 69 and one third. Space, one third. All right, let's do this one. 5 and 7 eighths, so that's 47 eighths times 67, 64 plus 3 is 67 eighths. This one's pretty yucky. Um, I don't, yeah, I know for sure there's no simplification. 47, 67 are not even. Eights are totally broken down by twos. So there's, there's just no simplification here. So we'll do, just check that, 47 over 8. 64, 67 divided by 8. So 47 times 67, 3149. Divided by 64. Okay, I'm going to do this as, I'm just going to do it here. 3149 divided by 64. 49 and 13 64ths, just to keep our lives moving here. 49 and 13 64ths. Okay, um, so this is going to be 10 thirds times 11 halves. That'll be a 5, that'll be a 1. This will give us 55 over 3. So we have 55 divided by 3. This is a 1. 25, 8, 24. So 18. There's only 1 left here. And 1 third. All right. How about this? 
Well, yeah, it's probably eight and a six, just by feel here, but it, yeah, it could be nine and a third. Okay, so this will be seven fourths. This will be 14 thirds. So this will be seven and two. We'll get 49 over six. So 49 divided by six is eight, 48, one left over, so eight and one sixth. The reason I went with that as a guess was because this is this is close. Let's so eight and one six, right? This is close to two. This is like under but under two. This is a little over four. Errors kind of cancel, so you get four times two is eight ish. But we did it exactly and got eight and a sixth. Okay, same thing here. We kind of feel it's bigger than eighteen, right? We know it's bigger than eighteen. Um, I don't. I can't tell. I mean, I can't mentally tell between twenty three and three fourths and twenty three and one eighth, right? So. Uh, 36 plus 1 is 37 fourths. I'm sure if we were, if we thought a little bit longer, we could, but again, let's just go through the process. Five halves. Okay, there's no simplifying, right? Four breaks down into twos. Um, 37 and 5 are both odd. There's absolutely no simplifying here. So 37 times 5 is 185 divided by 8. So 185 divided by 8 will give us 2. We'll end up with 25, which will give us 3. And we've got 24, we'll get one left over. So we'll get 23 and 1 eighth. All right. Hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable multiplying mixed numbers. Get to work, just go through a bunch of examples, and I'm sure you'll get it. I'll see you next time.